Welcome to Nectar Modular Kitchen and Furniture. In this video, uh, we will guide you through stages involved in making of a fully modular kitchen with fireproof and waterproof carcass boxes. First thing you need to know about making a fully modular kitchen is that uh, we don't need to make a kadappa or granite platform. But a modular kitchen process starts during the civil work of your house. Most of the people install modular kitchen after their civil work is done. But however, if you do this uh, process during your civil work, you will, uh, your kitchen platform space will be planned beforehand. You will save a lot of space. So uh, following stages are involved in making of a well planned modular kitchen. First stage is planning. Um, second is installing a fireproof and waterproof WPC carcass boxes. Then civil work, installing cement sheet and uh, granite and tiles. And then the last stage is installing drawers and cabinets. So let's go through these stages one by one. So first stage is planning, dimensional sketches and 3D drawing. So these are the sketches in which all the dimensions are mentioned. Sizes are mentioned of each drawer each uh, cabinet boxes and other material details so our further process of uh, installing modular kitchen uh, will be will be done as per these sketches and measurements so next stage is installing fireproof and waterproof wpc carcass box so before installing carcass box we need to do the flooring of the kitchen and install tiles up to the height of 34 inch once this is done we will install the WPC carcass box as per our dimensional plan. So our carcass box height is 29 inch. And this is how your uh, carcass box will look after they are installed. So next stage is civil work. We need to install two layers of 20 mm thick cement sheet over the carcass box and one layer of granite 20 mm thick over the cement sheet so you can also use a uh, kadappa instead of 20 mm thick granite uh, cement sheet but uh, usually cement sheet has a smooth finish so we we most probably most of the times opt for cement sheets so after installing two layers of cement sheet and granite over our carcass boxes we uh, which is 29 inch high we get a total platform height of 32 inch which is optimum for cooking of a, which is optimum to cook for normal height person if you uh, if a person who is going to cook is taller we can opt for higher kitchen height so this is how your kitchen will look after installing the carcass box granite and cement sheet so the last and final stage in making of your fully modular kitchen is installing drawers and cabinets so once the civil work is done we need to install drawers shutters and crockery boxes as per our 3d plan so now your so now your modular kitchen is done this is how it will look once it is complete in this modular kitchen we have used hectic tandem box drawers we have also utilized the corner space by installing a corner shelf in that for handles we have used black g section profile handles and for hinges we have used hectic soft close hinges all the other drawers are soft close and we have uh, used inserts of our cup saucer and thali. So we have we, uh, made a cabinet for aqua guard here. Here is cabinet for utilizing a corner space. The shelf over here goes uh, all till the end up to the corner. And we have also covered the chimney pipe which looks very much elegant which covers the whole chimney pipe aluminum aluminum pipe in uh, over there we have made a two door cabinet above fridge to utilize the space above it which is most of the time wasted here are the ceiling touch box loft to utilize all the big containers giving you extra storage Overall, we have tried to use available space very optimally to accommodate storage space in every available corner in your kitchen. Thank you.